What's up guys? Making this video kind of prematurely with hopes that I'm successful here. But one of the things that I've been fighting in my car ever since I got it running is getting the IAC to work correctly. After doing some digging, uh, I realized today that it seems like there's two different style IACs that you can run with the Holly Terminator kit. Um, both have different wiring. Um, so we're going to check that today and see if maybe I can actually get the cold start function to work correctly and ultimately get my car to idle better. Just a little background of the car. It's your basic turbo LS setup. I have a Holley race manifold on it with a 92 millimeter Holley throttle body. Um, I have a brand new Holley IAC. I bought one from AutoZone. Uh, neither of them seem to work correctly. When I did some research, it seems like both the Holley and the one I got from AutoZone for the Holley throttle body uses a Chrysler style wiring setup. Um, I'll show you the wiring schematic here in a second, but there are two different pins that need to be swapped in order to get it to work correctly. All right, so on the screen here is a diagram that I found from a post on the Holley forums from back in 2015 roughly. Uh, originally, this is for uh, Holly HP or Dominator, I believe, but this applies to your Terminator kit. Uh, when they sell the Terminator kit, obviously it comes plug in and play for your LS, but um, unfortunately, uh, some of the throttle bodies use different style IX, and even though they're both four pin connectors, uh, there is two different wiring setups that you gotta be aware of. So what we're gonna do today, uh, I'll start the car just to show you what it does. It's been sitting for uh, overnight, and then we'll swap the wires, and hopefully we'll have a little bit better result than what we have previously. So just for reference, here's my throttle body that I got. Obviously, it's a Sniper EFI, IX plugged in. Um, we'll go over here real quick. show you here. So this is actually a GM IAC. It's a four pin. Um, this is the Holly one that I bought for the throttle body, which uh, didn't work correctly. I uh, thought there was something wrong, so I also bought one through AutoZone. Um, none of them seem to work as they should. And then the GM one, just for reference, does not actually fit into the throttle body correctly. So just for reference, when you go into your Holly's uh, software, you do have this idle tab. Um, it was my understanding when you collect, click different drop downs for your IA control, um, that obviously it would just universally work. Um, Unfortunately, this isn't quite the case as far as the physical wiring. Um, so obviously I have a GM setup. Uh, it's a 24X engine. Um, this is what I have in here. Um, we'll go and start the car just so you guys can see what it does. And then uh, we're gonna swap the pins and see if it fixes anything. So here we'll go. Uh, we're just gonna start the car here. Uh, it's been sitting overnight. So my anticipation is it'll start. Um, it's gonna try to idle. I think I have idle set at 850 on this car. Uh, being cold on E85, it's probably gonna struggle for that. So when I crank it here, it's gonna be with no foot on the gas. You'll see it won't, won't do much. obviously it dies there. If I hold my foot on the gas, it'll stay running and it'll run fine. Um, I did the warm idle tuning on this, so uh, basically once the car warms up, it idles and runs fine, but obviously I'd like to uh, follow my cold start table, which would obviously bring the idle up and then uh, slowly bring it down as cool it warms up. Uh, so I'll just start real quick for a second here with my foot just to make sure obviously the car's gonna run fine. gas you can see it's just kind of surging and jumping around obviously not what I'm looking for here so we're gonna start here by unplugging the actual IAC for those that don't know this goes right on the side of the throttle body it's labeled IAC it's four pin um, GM Chrysler they all plug in one connector um, I'll show you guys how to actually depin this real quick all right so the first thing you're gonna do using a screwdriver you're gonna pull away this purple clip. Just pops out just like that. Set it aside, don't lose it. 
Also pull the blue rubber seal off just so you gain access there. So if you look at the connector real closely, the terminal should be wired. Uh, what I'm looking for is terminals A and C. Um, Holly's got the wiring um, posted on their website, which I will put in this description here. Um, basically, I'm going to be swapping pins A with pin C and hopefully get this IAC working correctly. For reference, in case anybody's wondering, pin A uh, in the GM setup is going to be a purple and white wire. Pin B will be a purple with black. Pin C will be a purple with blue. And then pin D is going to be a purple and yellow. If you're running a Holly IAC or a Chrysler IAC, pin A needs to be purple and blue. Pin B is going to be purple and black. Pin C is going to be purple and white. And pin D is going to be purple and yellow. All right, so I didn't realize it, but the sun was uh, putting a pretty bad reflection on there. Uh, so I got the garage door closed for now. Um, before you actually feed the pins out, um, you've got to pop this locking retainer ring off, this little gray guy. So that comes right out like that, simple with a screwdriver. Um, then you use uh, whatever technique that you'd like to get the pins out. Um, I'm going to be using a razor blade and uh, a pick tool. It's fairly simple. Slide the razor blade under the locking pin like that. And then you should be able to push the pin out from the harness with it in there. So just like that, you can see that it's starting to come out. Uh, we'll go over to the next one here. Get this locked in, get a better angle for you guys. Put that on the top, slide this under, and then push it out. Simple like that. So these wires do have locking um, rings on them. So keep, uh, keep good notes on how they're oriented in the connector. So I will pull this back here, feed the wire out. We'll push, so we got one, and push the other, and they're out. So since I got the Holly or Chrysler style IAC. Pin A, I'm gonna want a purple and blue. So we're gonna feed that in here. Should be this, this guy here. Put down. And to put them back, you just feed them through. Very simple. Push the uh, seal all the way in. You can see that it's fed through there. And then pin uh, the other pin that we got, pin C, should be purple and white. Obviously, just for good measure, verify. And then we're going to feed that back in through here. All right, so now that we got them in there, it's always good practice to just verify your colors. So we're going to take a peek here. Um, since we're using the Holly or Chrysler style, you can see pin one has got purple and blue. Pin two is purple and black, kind of hard to see here. Pin three, purple and white. And pin four is purple and yellow. After that, we're going to do our blue seal. Slide that on over here. So, and then finally, we have our purple retainer. This is keyed, so it can only go on one way. Snaps in like such. 
I usually will give the wires just a little, little wiggle, make sure they're in there good. Slide your loom back, and then we'll plug our IAC back in. It's also good to note if you have a battery cutoff switch, it's very important to have this disconnected during this time. If not, uh, I would recommend disconnecting your battery just as they recommend with all electrical work. All right, guys, so this is going to be the moment of truth. Uh, what we're going to do here, uh, I have my laptop hooked up. We're going to go over to idle speed. We're going to click that just to see where, uh, where things land. Um, this is a table that's based on coolant temp and engine RPM that you want to target. Um, so depending on the coolant temp, so right now we're at about 108. You could say it's going to be commanding roughly 1,100 or so RPMs. So we're gonna give the uh, the engine a crank here and see what she does. Hopefully it uh, hopefully it idles right. up it's slowly going down this ramp and ultimately is controlling the idle it's the first time this has worked correctly in two years of this car running have it um, obviously this was successful I wish I looked into this earlier um, fortunately I think when you buy a Holley Terminator kit specific for an LS they don't quite mention that there's different wiring for the IAX uh, part of this I think is because the Terminator kit is more based for uh, kind of a plug it and play type of scenario um, hopefully this helps you guys uh, they're having similar problems um, if you guys have any other things that you need troubleshooted or any videos you'd like to see, uh, make sure to comment. Um, if you want to see stuff in the future, make sure to subscribe. And Until next time, thanks.